All right, the Crew Motor Fest. If you got the uh, year one car pass or whatever it was, then you got the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body. Now, typical Dodge fashion, fast in a straight line, accelerates quick, heavy as, you know, it's a boat, um, real wheel drive, loses traction, gets real wild. After uh, tuning this thing, I will say, I just did a grand race. We got first place. And um, it's it's not really good once you get past like 180 mile an hour. It just doesn't really get up to like the 230 speed. It like barely struggles to get to 200 on the race where and even with the NOS. But um, it's pretty stable in the corners now and it's, it's decent. It's decent. I wouldn't say it's one of the best cars, but uh, if you like it, it's a popular car. This tune makes it way better. So look. Pro settings, all right. Didn't change brake balance, grip. Uh, I went negative 15 load in the front for the aero. Suspension, the springs, negative four soft in the front, negative 17 on the rear. This thing just, the more you stiffen it up, the more it wants to slide. Damper compression front, plus three stiff. Rear, negative eight soft. Damper rebound, front, plus nine stiff. Rear, negative nine soft. And the roll bars, plus 10 stiff on the front, negative 9 soft on the rear. Alignment is negative 25 and negative 25. Like I said, I, I had to soften it. So all the weight, especially when you're, you're throttling out of a corner, just went on the rear to keep it planted because this thing is just wild. I mean, these cars have a lot of horsepower. Okay. Anyway, I'll throw out the Grand Race. Check out our other tunes. Um, um, I have a whole playlist full of tunes. I'm going to split them into um, every like Street Tier 1, Street Tier 2, Hypercar. So that way it's easier to find certain cars uh, versus everything being in one list. So keep that in mind. But anyway, boys, subscribe, come back. See you on the next one. All right, boys, the Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body. If you got the uh, season pass car pack thing, you got this and the Chevelle. We're going to test it out. Tune's still, I mean, it's, it's a wild car, so. But it's the last leg of this race. We'll see what we can do. switching here we kind of caught him with the uh countage they only got out in front because uh i kept getting blocked by everybody else but we got a good lead now we'll see how this tune does oh he messed up he messed up oh he's got that 40 all right see you, bud um i tried my best to get this thing to uh not be an absolute beast. I mean, it's high horsepower, rear wheel drive, heavy boat. Uh, but for the most part, uh, we got this thing pretty stable. Ooh, he didn't take the shortcut. We're gonna get him. It's still gonna uh, give out and slide on the corners. Uh, just watch your throttle control. If you prefer to kind of drift around the corner, uh, you can do that and it's pretty stable as you can see. Traction control on, of course, is every tune I show has traction control just because I probably say 99% of players use traction control, so you know, but uh, it's it's so much better with the tune, just like any other car. Um, I'm feeling like this top end acceleration is kind of bad. Um, I feel like I should have been over 180. But I mean, you can see it, it's hugging pretty good. It's a very popular car, so I was like, you know what? I actually forgot about it. So somebody was like, hey, can you do the Charger uh, Hellcat Red Eye? I was like, oh shit. Like, I have it. I just forgot about it. <laughs> so if you guys want to see uh, anything specific, let me know. I'll add it to my list. Um, I have a ton of requests, and it's just a matter of getting enough bucks in game so I can um, buy everything and tune it. The tuning is the easy part. Some cars, some cars are a pain in the ass, but I mean, we're keeping our lead with this thing. 
a little bit of throttle control, just pop, 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 coming out of the corners, and you're good to go. I mean, look at us. We're gone. Gone. I feel like it should be going over 200. Yeah, I feel like with this car, the acceleration is pretty good, but then top end is just not there. Obviously, you can still win if you're a good driver, but uh, the Hellcat, yeah, that F40 was close. He was definitely gaining on us. That, you're not going to compete with that F40 with this, but it's not bad. It's way more stable than it was, so what is that? Ooh, 3000 GT came in third? Hell yeah.